Okay, what we're going to make is a retroreflective aimer that you can make a signal mirror out of that will signal a long way. First thing you need to do is cut a piece of glass. The tools you'll need are a good quality glass cutter and a square. And I have here a piece of 3 sixteenths by 4 inch glass. I put a 3 inch mark there with my Sharpie and I'm going to lay this uh, square right across that mark. Take my glass cutter, score it like that. You see the line? The score line? Then I'm going to take this rosing plier and I'm going to squeeze it or I'm just going to go like this. Okay, the second step is we need to make these edges so that they're safe to handle because as they are, they're sharp enough to do surgery with. So we're going to take this little block of wood that we have stapled a piece of emery cloth to, and I'm going to scrape this sharp edge across there, like that. Only takes one or two swipes at the most. Turn it, and do it again on each four of the four sides, and then I'm going to turn it over and do it again. And after doing that, these edges are no longer dangerous. They're safe enough to handle. Okay, the next step is we're going to use a Dremel drill press. Oh, it could be done, done manually, but this works a lot better. It just uh, raises up and down nice and smooth. We're going to use a, uh, a cup, a metal brush, a cup brush here, which is uh, we're going to take the uh, silver paint off the back of the of the glass so that we can see through it. It doesn't take doesn't take much. I'm just kind of centered on the glass. Okay. That's all that's necessary. Now you've got a nice clean circle in the glass. Now you're going to clean this, clean the rest of that paint off of that glass using another Dremel with a flat uh, wire brush. Okay, now what before you start using this uh, wire brush, you need to have make sure you have safety goggles on, okay? Because the, this brush will throw off little pieces, and you you don't want to get one of those in your eye. So we just take that now, and we just carefully and have to push hard, and just carefully remove the. Now you have now you have a nice clear piece of you know hole in the back of that glass that you can see through. We actually didn't remove the hole out of this. Uh, you didn't make a hole in the glass. We just removed the silvering off the back of the glass. Okay. Now we're going to take what we call a retro reflective tape, and uh, we we purchased this tape at at uh, uh, at Harbor Freight. And it comes with red, it comes at a, a foot long piece with six inches of silver and six inches of red. Okay, this is tape that they use to put on on uh, big uh, trailers and other vehicles that you want to. That's just reflective tape. Okay, but uh, we're going to use the red because uh, uh, the, the uh, if we use the silver, it gets a little too bright unless we do something else to it. And we'll talk about that in a minute. All we do is take that tape cut it up into one inch squares, okay? And then we take a piece, take a, uh, uh, a uh, okay, paper, paper punch and just punch a hole in the middle there. And we're going to take this, this tape now and we're going to cover, put it right over the back of this 
of the tape over the over the hole that we made, and uh, we want to center center the the little hole in the tape in the center of the hole, hole in the glass. And we're just going to take a piece of scotch tape and secure that to the glass. Now you want to be sure that you don't put the scotch tape over the hole in the glass, in the in the tape. And the other thing is, there's a you don't want to peel this uh, back off of the tape. You don't it's not necessary. Okay, so just secure that on both sides, so it's not moving around. All right, and you now have a a signal mirror with a retro reflective aimer. Right now, the way this stuff works, uh, the, this this tape, this particular tape, has some fine uh, glass beads embedded in it that are that are reflective. And the reason we call it retro reflective is because when the sun hits, comes through this the glass and hits the red tape, then it reflects part of that light back up and it hits the surface of the of the mirror glass and reflects it back. Uh, and, it, and that creates a, what we call a fireball. Uh, and as you look through it, you'll be able to see that, see a red fireball. And we'll take you out and demonstrate how that works here. Okay, you want to start by finding the reflection. Uh, aim it on the ground in front of you. You can see the silver reflection down there. Now you bring this mirror up to your eye and, hold, and look through the glass. And what you'll see now is this red fireball. You've, found this red fireball down here where this mirror is shining on the ground. Okay, you just bring it up, looking through this hole, and bring it right up, keeping that fireball in the middle of that, of the uh, hole in the tape, and aim it at your target. Okay, and what you're going to see now is that red fireball lighting up that stop sign. And that will, and, and you're, and you're going to be on target. So, then that, that's good at 100 yards or 100 miles. Or even longer. That uh, that aims that uh, aims that mirror at your target. Okay. Okay. If you want to use the silver uh, reflective tape that comes with the it comes red and white, then you do exactly the same thing. You cut the you cut the silver tape up into into a one-inch square, okay. And only now this case, before, because the silver fireball is so bright that it could it could hurt your eyes. We take a piece of piece of uh, window film like you'd use in a vehicle. I bought this at AutoZone, and uh, you. Do the same thing, cut up a one inch square, punch a hole in the middle, and you just set it on the inside now of the, uh, of the uh, silver tape, and you place that over the hole just like we did before. So now we have, a, we have the filter in between the silver tape and the, and the glass, and that, that dampens the, the uh, brightness of that fireball so that you can you can see it, and, what, and it's not going to hurt your eyes. So that's why you use up all of this, uh, all this silver tape. Except that we also use this and put it on our, put it on our uh, on a piece of board and hang it out there that we can use for a target. And you can maybe take a picture of that one that's hanging on the on the bush out there. And this this allows 20% uh, uh, of the light to come through. Uh, stops 80 percent and uh, if you use use one that st stops more light than that then you, then it, you can't see the uh, reflection.